What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Thursday, April 18th, 2024. I'm in uh, Island Park right now. Um, Daniel's been working on this job this morning. We took out a, um, a wall hung combi and um, it was kaput. It had plenty of problems from day one, basically. Um, so we took out this wall hung combi and for the first time, in Pipe Doctor history, I think literally probably the most advanced yet simple wall hung combi, serviceable on not one, not two, but three sides, built in self-diagnostic tools, even self-combustion analysis, where there's no need for a combustion analyzer. Ladies and gentlemen, I am about to introduce you the most epic wall hung combi. Check this out. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sneaking in on Daniel right here. Hi, Daniel. Hi. Want to say hi to Nana Claire? She's not watching. Oh, you should never know. By the way, Daniel Campbell, check out his YouTube channel, DCHVAC. Show him some love and subscribe to the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the U.S. Boiler Burnham Alta High Efficiency Combi Gas Boiler with a stainless steel heat exchanger. The thing is awesome. It's awesome. It's got unmatched simplicity. It really does. It really does. And once he gets his himself out of the way after he's installing that uh, the exhaust piping, two inch by the way for intake and exhaust. By the way, yeah, that's nice. It's really, 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 really nice, right? Thing's awesome. It's got a no touch, what they call no touch combustion um, analysis and and settings. It's no touch. That's what it says. I didn't know that. Right? Five minute startup. Right? Self diagnostic boiler control. Thing is awesome. And three sides the left, the right, and the middle. Wait until we get done with this and I show you how easy this thing is to set up and configure. Thing is awesome. Now, they do make a floor stand option, but I gotta tell you, it's a little difficult to hang it with the little hanger they give you, because you gotta get it like right on like the two little clips on the left and right hand side. But if uh, if it's elevated like off the ground the way this one is, you're gonna need two guys to manhandle that uh, that bad boy up and, and hang it in place. But I think it's really, really, really awesome. I think this is like the next generation of combis. You know, I, you know I'm a fan of Bosch. I'm a fan of the Whale McLean, but I gotta tell you, US Boiler, I think you knocked it out of the park with the Alta. All right, so before I get into the layout of the piping, how he piped everything, as a direct replacement, kind of, not really, Daniel loves when we swap out wall-hung machines, you know, from one brand to another. Every tankless combi, wall-hung combi, whether it's U.S. Boiler Burnham, whether it's Whale McLean Ecotech, whether it's the Bosch Green Star, right? They all need to be hardwired. So what we do is we cut – Daniel loves doing this, by the way. He cuts – the uh, basically the extension cord from the one we're taking out and wires that to the boiler. That way we still have basically basically plug and play simplicity. Look at that. Oh man, and guys, you haven't even seen it up close yet. Once we lower that hinged control, fold that down, you guys are gonna be like drooling. You guys just be careful, make sure your sister's not around because you don't wanna get anyone pregnant. I'm telling you, it's gonna be epic. All right, uh, before I get into the, the show and tell and lay out all the components of the boiler, the Burnham Alta Combi, um, we have two models available for the Combi version. We have the 136 and we have the 200. Two sizes, 136 and 200 for Combi only, we, which gives us the ability to wire in one zone, one space heating zone, um, at the boiler itself. Uh, as far as boiler, oh, what? I think it might be two. It might be two? Okay, I could be wrong. I, I'm not a spokesperson for U.S. Boiler. I'm just a YouTuber and an internet personality that happens to be a plumber and H does HVAC. 
and uh, who doesn't do hack work. If you're going to do boiler only, we have four sizes. We have the 80, the 120, the 150, and the 180. Um, really, really, really nice machine. I believe, and I think it's even referenced on the Burnham's uh, website, is that this is the world's first 10 to 1 turn down ratio gas valve with adapts automatically gas adaptive world's first 10 to 1 turn down ratio um, i love the fact that it comes with the primary loop manifold in the box i'm not a fan of the connections on the bottom how there's a restriction from that one inch right from that inch and a quarter right here which by the way you can easily press on right there your fittings uh, at leaving our boiler on our supply side, we have the inch and a quarter spiro vent. This is the air separator. Below that, I use the Webstone expansion tank isolation valve. It allows me to purge, you know, drain out, um, isolate the expansion tank so I don't have to shut down, drain down the whole system. I could just drain down the, the, the water volume pressure in the tank for easy removal. Even have the little connection T right there for my boiler feed. For boiler feed, I'm using the Kalefi half inch pressure reducing valve. It's a built in valve below with optional gauge. And we're using a backflow preventer right there. Going to one zone again. Plenty of room to press on the other side. There we go. We're just a little sweat action right there. And again, my only criticism here is that we're, we're sizing down on our domestic. Uh, in and out, and our space heating in and out, and uh, your hydraulic separation there, the, the, the not hydraulic separator, but the, uh, the connections there, those unions uh, are nice, but it also allows you to sweat right on to, uh, sweat or press right on to the stubs coming out of domestic hot and cold water. Really, really nice. And like I said, this is a direct replacement, kind of really. We kept the existing zone. We kept the zone panel. We kept the condensate pump. We did replace the condensate neutralizer. And we ran some new three-quarter PVC to the neutralizer, which then goes into the Liberty condensate pump right there behind Daniel's Tuckus. All right. Um, two inch on our exhaust, two inch on our fresh air. Again, you want to have 12 inches of separation out there. We have our 30 PSI relief valve right on top. We're going to pipe that down to a minimum of uh, six inches. Sorry, a minimum of one pipe diameter, max of six inches off the floor. That's the code for relief valve drain tubing. And this post is because we are in a garage, as you can see. As soon as Daniel gets finished on doing the line voltage wiring, we're going to plug this bad boy in. I'll tell you about the bleeder. That's that black hose right there. You think that that would be the ignition cable? No, it's a bleeder, so you can bleed the top of the heat exchanger. Let me tell you something. The folks at U.S. Boiler, they did a real fine job with the Burnham Alpine. That thing is a workhorse. Yes, it does need some extensive service and maintenance, right, to keep it running like the Rolls-Royce or, I guess, Bugattis of the equivalent into the HVAC world. But I think they really did a real awesome job with the Alta. Look inside this, ladies and gentlemen. Look how much room is inside there. Look at that. There's your circulator, three-way valve, all your components are right there. There's your heat exchanger, stainless steel heat exchanger, it's designed to be opened and cleaned. The thing is awesome, and it's hinged. Perfect right there. Look at that. All right, 12.45. Um, we're going to fire this bad boy up in a little bit. I wanted to show the common connection. Nice. Okay. <laughs> All right. To my understanding, we have a five minute startup for it to calibrate. Is the gas on? No. Uh, yeah, it is on. You turn the gas on at the yeah, meter? Okay. STA 10. Just like the uh, Burnham hydronic control. What does 10 stand for? Let's go find out. Yeah, right there. Right there. Let's put that on a piece of uh, um, coral, whatever it's called. STA 10. Pump air elimination. Pump air elimination. Mmm. Hmm. Mm.
Wow. That's impressive. Whisper quiet operation. You can feel the heat there already. 83, 84. It's incredible. Wow. How's it feel on the return? Cold. Nice. Nice. So a couple of critiques. Um, the, the Tridicator gauge right there. Um, so if you want to like go to the right, I'm oh, sorry, to the left with the gas piping, you can't. Um, so you have to elbow out towards the front and then across. Um, it would be nice if like, uh, connections were on the side. I think one manufacturer does that, but well, we can mention their name. Yeah. I think two, two might. Mm -hmm. I know HCP does. I don't know if NTI does. 82. Oh, it's, we're dropping in temperature. 80. Maybe it's part of the calibrating. Maybe it is. Low fire. It could be because it, according to U.S. Boiler, you do not need a combustion analyzer to start up and commission the Burnham Alta. There it goes. Ramp it up. All right, let's start at the top of the unit. We have our male connection coming out of the top left. That's for our relief valve. Oh, awesome. And then we have our exhaust coming straight out of the top with a combustion test port. There's our fresh air. Top of the heat exchanger. The bleeder hose to bleed out the heat exchanger. Very, very nice touch. The part that I really love about this is that you can just easily pop this bad boy out and expose all of the components. Your circulator, three-way valve, gas control valve, all that good stuff is right here. And sensors, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There's the Alta 136. We use the Axiom condensate neutralizer. And we basically did a direct replacement. Now, granted this elbow here wasn't there. It went up across. Uh, and then came down here with a piece of uh, the one inch and attached to the unistrut with the Kindorf clamps. Um, you know, the previous system had the primary loop below, but um, still have that primary loop below, but slightly reconfigured. And uh, it took a little longer than I expected, but it is what it is. We restored the customer with some normalcy back in their life with safe and reliable space heating and domestic hot water. If you are in the Long Island, New York City metropolitan area and looking to get rid of your wall hung garbage, maybe it's falling apart, regardless of the brand, give us a call at 516 348 6300. We're based in Woodmere, New York, for our New York location. In South Carolina, we're in Charleston, North Charleston to be exact, or in Dorchester. And we are in the Central Florida Orlando area in Winter Garden. Stay tuned for great content coming up on all those channels. Smash that thumbs up button. Guys, thank you so much. You got a shout out, or is it? You got a shout out yesterday. GG's funny. Yeah? Look at this. Stoli. Okay. That's so funny. I see it's one volume. Yeah. It's just standing. Okay, we have. Sit. Yeah. Okay. And now we have dog treats. Okay, so I'm going to dog to work there. Oh, you didn't even eat it? You just left it there? You know, yours is on the floor, you retard. He's gonna eat it. You better hurry up and get the treat. Oh, she's like, she's a, she's a diva. Go, go upstairs and go sit on the couch. They don't know what you're saying. <laughs> she's used to sitting in a dog bed. I gotta order a dog bed. For, for the shop? Yeah. Just make one of the towels. She knows lay down on the towel. 
She only lays down on clean ground. Here, lay down on a towel. Go lay down on a towel. Come here, lay down on a towel. Okay, stay. Hey, <laughs> stay. On a bow finger. Oh, what time is this? Hello?